Let's talk about the old times later. Good old times. How it all started. Oh my goodness. Do you really want to think about that? <laughs> I remember you see, seeing you first. That was the time I was uh, at, 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 at the Hive Hostel. Yeah, I was the learner at that time. I remember ah, you that you had this the amazing, guys, yes. that huge hotel downtown Basel and you wanted to transform it. How did I get involved in Capsule Hotel? You know, I did, I did quite a bit of traveling in the past uh, and I was like in my early 30s and still wanted to get this connection with the people, with the travelers. But every time I stayed in hostels, you know, I was like, ah, I mean, I'm not 20 anymore. So I think personally, when I saw then this concept of capsule hotels, I was like, this is exactly what I would have stayed in. When you, you birthed the idea, I heard it, I got really excited about it and I thought, wow, this is really something we should do. I will never forget that. You guys, we, we sat in that restaurant. We had, we had dinner, Chinese dinner, and I remember like it was today. And you guys were like, oh, by the way, we ordered a whole container of <laughs> capsules. And, and then the day these capsules actually arrived. I remember this truck in, the, in Luzern, there was no space for this truck to, because it's like the main road. And he stopped in the middle of the road. And we, we had some moving guys organized to come and help us, but they were somehow late. So Fabian and I were standing there and starting to unload this huge big container with, with plastic capsules. Maybe say a few things about the guys. Yeah, tell me about this crazy <sighs> team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so we're a team of four. If I think about Joe, one of the things that I see with him and what I really appreciate in him is that whenever times get rough, the pressure is there, he just keeps on changing. Is that then Adri came? That was huge for us. Let's because the new capsules were sitting somewhere in, in, in the warehouse, yes. In a warehouse. And, then we, and uh, he said, guys, why they're sitting there? That's my Let's money. Do with something. <laughs> that's money sitting. Adri, I like a lot because he's um, he's kind of you know, it's putting the fingers in the right spot where they need to be. Um, he's also pulling the team when it needs to be. So he's like really has this uh, ambition and thrive to, to go where you want to go. And then Peter is on top of that, like the inspiration. I, I call him the Elon Musk of the hotel revolution. Of course, he doesn't like to hear that. So basically, to me, Bayat is uh, it's the backbone of the company. He basically makes sure that we stay upright whenever the times are uh, a bit challenging. He's the brain. He's in love with Excel. He's uh, in love with numbers. I'm the opposite. I'm more creative and I'm more uh, enthusiastic about things and, and he loves it to bring it down to to numbers and what will work and what not. I find that although the first month we, we were open, we had like 95% occupancy. It was like crazy, yeah. like every media, every newspaper yeah. was talking about it. Yeah. I mean, this was probably the beginning when we started to realize, oh wow, did this could really become a movement. Hey Peter. If you look forward, where do you see us in the future? Where do we go? You are the guy with the crazy ideas. Where are we in the future? <laughs> every city has its spot. I see a capsule hotel in every city. I mean, this is, this is our ambition, of course. And uh, I want to, if I talk to people in the future, and if they think about hospitality, if they think about what kind of options do you have to stay in in a, in a city? I want to hear them say, well, I decide between maybe I stay in a hotel or a capsule or a hostel. So these three things, you know. We would also want to see entrepreneurs develop because it's not a business where you necessarily have to be an employee. You can also start your own capsule hotel. Growing it a bit further to like, give jobs to people who maybe we can have an impact on. Uh, like somewhere where there are no jobs, uh, they can also become part of, of that movement and engage and create a future for themselves. Whenever I'm in the capsule hotel in Lucerne or in Basel, I meet people, I meet travelers from all around the world. 
and they come with their own stories, with their own ideas, and they all come to explore Switzerland or the city that they are in. Um, to me, that's one of the instantly feedback that you can get on, on the concept, on the company, and how you're doing, uh, which to me is super exciting.